Today we're spending a beautiful morning in a wildflower field in the backside of Mount Ashland. Peak wildflower season. But that's not why we're here. We're looking for bees. Not just bees, bumblebees. Especially the Franklin's bumblebee. It's one of the rarest in the Pacific Northwest. And this is some of the best habitat left for it. Oh, it's a yellow-faced bumblebee. 90% well, of the catch is going to be these. These are by far the most common bumblebee in this area. But it's not the Franklin. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has a bunch of volunteers out here to catch bumblebees as part of a four-day survey for looking for the absence or the presence of varying forms of bumblebees. Now, gardeners used to find Franklin bumblebees in their backyards in Medford and Ashland, but one hasn't been seen anywhere around here since 2006. Now, this is called the cuckoo bumblebee. You might as well call it a till of the hunt. Now, when these things hatch, the queens go out Instead of setting up their own colony, they go find some other colony of some other bee, not even another cuckoo bee, and just kill the queen, take it over. <laughs> Dang, it's not a Franklin's. Kind of like a false celebrity sighting. It's like you think you have a Johnny Depp sighting, and it turns out just to be another transient. We're on the backside of Southern Oregon's Mount Ashland surveying the wildflowers for two rare species of bees, the Franklin's bumblebee and the Western bumblebee. So the two species that we're most interested in, Bombus franklini, mm -hmm. Franklin's bumblebee and Bombus occidentalis, which is the uh, uh, Western bumblebee, both of them have black faces and that's something we look for because the most common one out here has a yellow face, that's the yellow faced bumblebee. Neither of them have a distinct um, yellow across uh, the abdomen. The, the Franklin eye has two little white dots, which sometimes you can see, sometimes you can't. If you catch it, you can see it pretty distinctly. Um, and a bit of a notch right there on the mm -hmm. thorax. Uh, the Western bubble bee has either some white or pale yellow band at the, at the end of the abdomen. And so that's what we're looking for. But the first distinctive character is a black face. It's fairly easy to tell the difference between a male bumblebee and a female bumblebee. Males have kind of a shabby appearance and they don't have a stinger even though they act like they have one. Females are really well groomed and they have a stinger. Sound familiar? Dang, no Franklins. We're here on Southern Oregon's Mount Ashen, looking for two extremely rare versions of bumblebees, the Franklin's bumblebee and the Western bumblebee. You can't survey them if you don't know how to catch them, especially without getting stung. So to catch a bumblebee, you take a basic butterfly net there's three ways to do it. First is the swoop, where you swoop in, swoop over the top. As you get it, you turn it over twice, and there it'll be. If there's one sitting on a flower, you just kind of pop it off, spin twice, and there it's there. In this technique, you just put the thing over the top, hold it up, as bees fly up. Flip it over, and then the tricky part. Him to work his way up to the top, the vial in, work the vial up, look it's inside, pinch it. And there she is. Hey, I got a black head over here, it looks like. Not a Franklin. Typical yellow face. So we're getting rid of this one. <laughs> 